Hi. Today I want to talk about making a slideshow in Adobe Lightroom. So the first thing you need to do is to select the photographs you want. And I'm making my slideshow of trees. Now you notice over here in my collections that I have a uh, smart collection of trees. And um, there are 272 photographs in that smart collection. And so then I created a collection of trees. And that collection contains just the ones that I want to have in this slideshow. So I just dragged, I created the collection, just dragged from, I was looking at the smart collection, dragged the images I wanted into the trees collection, started off with too many of them, then delete, uh, deleted some to boil it down to just a nice little set of uh, images. And the next thing I did was shuffled them around until I got them into an order that I thought had a nice flow to it. Some of the things I considered in the, uh, in the ordering was um, the colors, uh, and the uh, scale and uh, the general feel of the images as they move from one to the next. And obviously what I didn't take into consideration all of those things moving from each to each, but uh, something about them, I felt like there was a connection uh, going from one to the next. So uh, the next thing is to move over into the slideshow. So we're going to go to the slideshow panel. And so I have already created this template, um, but uh, so the first thing we want to do here is since I'm using the uh, trees collection down here, I want to have all film strip photos be in my slideshow. And um, then let's just walk through all of the options that I have established here. So we'll start with options. And we don't want to zoom to fill the frame because that would crop the image, crop all images to the same proportions. And I have created a border on my photographs. You may or may not want to do that. Mine happens to be three pixels wide. You can adjust that right here. Uh, I did not do a cast shadow. Let's close options and go to layout. Now here is an important feature. Uh, the default would be to have the um, you'd link to link all is checked, which means that the height and the width and the le the left and the right are all the same number of pixels. But a screen is horizontal, but not all images are horizontal. So ideally, I've got show guides checked. You can see if I don't have it checked, you don't have those little convenient guides there. So I've got show guides checked. And ideally, you want to have the space within the guides be a square so that a horizontal image and a vertical image will take up the same amount of space. So if we take a look at a vertical image in here, you see that that's taking up that much space. We look at the, uh, let's look at a different horizontal one, and that's taking up that much space. And I actually got in here with a, um, a ruler. You don't need a ruler. You just need something to measure what the width is and then turn it uh, up and down and measure what the height is and see that they're about the same. And because your goal is ideally to make it so that you're, your verticals and your horizontals, or your uh, portrait and landscape oriented photographs, are about the same size. It makes for a much um, more, a much smoother transition between them, rather than having really big horizontal images and smaller uh, portrait ones. So you don't want to link all, and uh, you want to play around with these settings until you get something that um, looks about right, is defining a square. So let's go to overlays. So I have an um, identity template uh, it says R.L. Geyer Photographs, which is my identity template from up here. It's just the same thing, except I changed the font on it to make it um, have a little bit more style. Uh, I did override the color. I darkened it a little bit so that it wouldn't be too bright. I don't want to detract from the photographs too much. Um, and then there's opacity. I can cut down the opacity some if I want to make it blend in a little bit more. Um, and then, of course, the scale. I've got it um, happens to be 22%, whatever. I didn't, again, I don't want it to, uh, to dominate. And I'm, I'm not watermarking my photographs. I'm not, not putting a copyright notice on them. Um, you probably don't want to show rating stars. And you probably, well, you may or may not want to do text overlays, depending on whether you have text that is relevant. Uh, in this case, I don't. And so I don't have that. So let's move on down to backdrop. 
Um, so I have a color washed because I wanted to darken it a little bit from what the default was. And I'm using a background image. Now, if you're um, looking at this for my uh, PH124 class, uh, there are two slideshows you're creating. The first one, you do not have an image background. The second one, you do. So I'm, I've got this one with it so that you get some idea uh, what you're looking looking at when you do a, an image background. You notice that the background here is pretty subtle. It's not really, I don't want the background to dominate. I want it to only just provide a little bit of texture uh, and to sort of relate to the uh, kinds of image this is. The images are trees. So my background image is, my background image is of trees. And I did all this adjustment in Lightroom. It took a bit of fiddling to get this uh, this look, but nevertheless, there you go. And then I actually also uh, put in a very subtle background color. You can't even see it. So um, on on that to um, um, well, I presumably was uh, giving it just a tad of color, but it doesn't really look like it's doing anything anymore. So you keep fooling around with this stuff, and you never know where you end up. So I have an intro screen on it, and uh, the intro screen. I have as a kind of a dark, um, you know, sort of a, kind of a medium gray actually, and then I have on the intro screen I have uh, a title, um, trees, and so uh, you can see that when you change, you know, when you click on this, you can you can see, it'll show that to you. Uh, but uh, so you, you, this started off with the uh, let me back up and do this more slowly. So I click on this and. You go. It, it may have started on um, main identity plate. Click on edit, and then you can uh, double click in here and type in whatever you want, um, and uh, change the font as you wish. Uh, don't use too many fonts in here. There are three places where you can have text. You can have the intro screen. You can have your identity uh, plate up here, and then the um, ending screen. And you don't want. I, I recommend using the same font for each so that it doesn't get too uh, cluttered. But anyway, so you can uh, adjust the scale, you can adjust the size, you can, or it's the same thing, you can adjust the scale, you can adjust the font, and you can adjust the text and the color, all that. And I also have included an ending screen. Um, the ending screen, I have um, put in my email address so that when this finishes, the client who I might be sending this to can see how to get in touch with me. And I have done an override of color on here, again, to make it a little bit more subtle than it would have otherwise been. And then in the playback, I don't have a soundtrack on here. Uh, if you're doing a, P, um, a PDF file, then you, there, it can't support sound. If, if you're doing a video, it'll be a quite large file and uh, probably only suitable for putting onto a CD. Uh, also, if you do a soundtrack, be sure it's something you have the rights to. Don't use commercial music unless you have copyright permission. And um, I have two monitors. It's set to playback on the on the first monitor, and it's going to blank the other one. Uh, slide duration is something you want to experiment with, and um, because you, you you don't want it to be too short, you want people to have a chance to really look at your images, but you also don't want it to be so long that people are starting to um, um, tap their feet and uh, hum little tunes, and um, so uh, and also the fade length. Uh, you don't want to have a super slow fade. Normally I do a shorter fade than this, but for some reason today I uh, some for some reason this is what I ended up with today: uh, five seconds on the slides and one second on the delay. And you do not want to do a random order. You want to pick the order your slides are presented in. Uh, whether you repeat it or not um, is really a um, Matter of um, well, um, depends on what your application is, and if you prepare uh, previews in advance, then it'll um, it'll write the images. It, uh, if you don't do that, it may take it a moment to get everything in focus. So now let's just play this and see what it all looks like. Here we go. I'm going to click play, and it's going to build it, and now it's going to run it. And we'll just see uh, whether I'm starting to get bored already. Uh, oh, good, it changed but before I got too bored. Um, and right about now, I want it to change. That's uh, not too bad. And so I'm just thinking, you know, would I want to be seeing this for this longer? Would I rather be seeing it a little bit longer? Um, oh, you know what happened there was that I wasn't on the first slide when I started. I have to hit, hit the escape key, and um, 
it will bring it back. And I wasn't on the first slide when I started. So I want to click down here on the film strip on the first slide and now click play again. And here we go. It'll start from the beginning this time. Hopefully. Maybe it'll work. So let's see what happens. And I think that actually I, I might, I've got five seconds right now on my, on my play time. I think I'd like to shorten it down to four and a half seconds. Because I th I'm feeling like it's just a little bit too long. Very slightly, but um, I think I would like just ever so slightly less time on this. So here we go. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, you can see the rest of this slideshow. And uh, as I said, um, in the first slideshow that you do for this class, you won't be doing a background like this, but um, the second one you will. So when you create your background, keep in mind that this is the kind of thing it's going to look like. And, um, and remember that uh, you won't see anything in the center of the background. Uh, there will be pictures there. And um, so that what looks like smoke in the back or looks like fog in the background was actually smoke from a forest fire. They cut down that tree. I was really sorry to see it. The tree was um, kind of ailing. And there's an apple tree. And that is the last slide. And now we're going to go on to the end, which is my email address. And there you have it. So you get all the adjustments the way you want it. Sometimes you have to uh, go through it a few times, look at the show, and um, adjust the timing, as I suggested I wanted to do. Or you might, uh, in fact, let's just do that right now. I'm going to move this over to four and a half seconds instead of five. And, um, and then uh, you uh, save your template um, because you want to make sure that you have this to use later. So go over to the template browser, click the plus sign and uh, give it a name. I don't think you can see this uh, temp this new template dialog here, uh, but it, um, whether you can see it or not, it's here. And you assign it a name, you click Create, and, um, and then you have that for future use. And then finally you want to export this. Uh, and as I said, you can export it as a video, which is a quite large file, or you can export it as a PDF file. So uh, we're going to export it as a PDF file, and Give it my name, um, trees.pdf, uh, and click. And um, we can adjust the size. I'm going to uh, make it a little bit smaller than my um, than I originally created it. Um, so I'm going to go down to 800 by or 1200 by 800, um, so that it um, doesn't fill up the entire screen. And I'm going to click save. And it says it already exists. I created one before. I'm going to overwrite that one with this one. And now you can see up in the upper left corner the um, the progress bar. And it's going to take a little while to do this. You want to be sure you don't try to send that PDF file to anybody until it has actually finished uh, writing the whole file on this progress bar here. It's moving along pretty fast. So there we go. It is um, just about finished now. So um, there we are. That's finished. I hope this has been uh, helpful to you.